everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well in this video i am using another mold by molds and shapes this is their crushed ice mold this is the tray it also comes in coasters as well so if you are interested in this i will put the details down below your discount code for five percent off is ccc5 at the checkout if you are interested in anything on the website at molds and shapes now I am feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling transparent in the middle because I really want that design to come through when we flip it out. But also I have these crystals. Now, some of you might remember I did a diamond glass, cut glass and crystal tray a long time ago, around about a year ago, I want to say. I got some purple stones from the cellar. My plan is to put some clear resin around the edge with those purple stones. Then I'm going to mix up all my colours. I'm going with purple, black and blue. I think. <laughs> I think. I say that. And gold. And gold. So I'm not very good with gold and silver pigments. Um, so I have this resin 8 gold. I don't know how it's going to act. I've also got my Let's Resin alcohol inks in ocean blue purple and azure azure blue azure <laughs> then i've also got my glass cast pigments in purple and blue so it might be kind of like blue and purple overkill but i think maybe with the gold added i'll be able to add some interest in there but we shall see it's such an exciting mold i think it's going to be a tray like without handles because once you kind of flip it out, there's nowhere for the handles to go unless you screw them in. Don't really want to do that. So my first thing to do is get my mask on, get this window open. I've got my gloves, get my goggles on, safety first. And then mix up my resin and then do the outside. I think, similar to last week's, the last video actually, I'm probably going to do the outside, then leave it a while and then come back to do the inside. Because what I don't want is for any pigment I use to seep in and kind of take away the look of that purple sparkle, the cup, yeah, these, these things. <laughs> so, clear resin first, let's go. So, like I said, I'm going to fill that channel at the outs on the outside of the tray with the clear resin. Now, you can either do it this way or you can put the stones into the pot in with the resin mix it up and pour that in I felt like this way was going to be easier and I also feel like I'll get less air bubbles if I do it this way um, so you just see me going around with the clear and then I go in with my heat gun and I heat that up just a little bit I'm not going too crazy because you do want to protect your silicon molds as well then I have these silicon funnels that I actually use to do my sort out my vinegar for my for my jesmonite but they were just sitting there and I thought this might be a really cool little trick to get the stones into all of those crevices and it worked a dream you can spoon them in with a little spoon but that is time consuming and you know i'm not about that life <laughs> you know if there's anything i can do to save time i'm on it i am that's me all over so yeah it worked a dream i just kind of like twirled the bottom of the funnel and the stones just came out real happy and I didn't make too much mess but here you see me really sped up this one this is really sped up for you guys but I went around the whole thing just pushing those stones back into that outer channel because I don't want any on the crushed glass so then I come back this is around about an hour later to add the other resins in so I'm going with like I said blues purples and golds I had no plan in my head, I was just going to do circles. I really have no idea how how it's going to flip out, you know, what it's going to look like. So here you see me just mixing up the blue, then I mixed up the purple and so on and so forth. But I'll save you from all of that. Just <laughs> I mix it a lot longer than what you're seeing on screen. You really want to mix it until there's no more streaks in there, until it is one solid transparent colour and you don't see any wisps of alcohol ink loose in there because that will definitely um, come out in your piece then I'm also using some black resin which I did not mention at the beginning but the black resin has got some of that super sparkle white in because I thought that might add a little bit of yumminess then I started filling the mold I had no plan no rhyme or reason 
I thought I would go with the spirals, which I have seen um, Petra Gerbrach. She's done so many of these and I love the end results. Um, so I thought I would just go in circles, one after the other. Again, color choices up to you guys. This is just what I chose to do for this tray. And I just kept on going. So adding a little bit more until I had no resin left. Now what I would recommend, which again I've seen other people do, is keep back some clear resin because a, you might need it to fill up the mold. B, you might need to add more color. So, or, and C, which is what I'm gonna use it for, is to push and blend all of those colors together. Now here you see me adding in the glass cast pigment. Now this is also transparent, but it's darker. It's a darker shade. So on top of the other alcohol inks that I've already added into those pots, I went in after with some of the glass cast pigment because I just felt like I wanted darker shades. And it was at this point I thought, mm, <laughs> I'm not sure where this is going. So I decided to um, yeah, step outside of my comfort zone a little bit and I just ended up working it into the middle. I thought, oh, that, that, could, that could work. I mean, spirals are pretty, spirals are cute. And we all know that whatever we decide to do on these kinds of projects, it might not necessarily stay like this because resin betrays us guys resin is not our friend <laughs> when it comes to projects like this it does its own thing so whilst i was in absolute love with this at this point i was i was not holding out hope that it was going to stay like this so here you see me going in with the clear the clear is just going to a, fill up the mold, and B, help all of these colors blend together. And I end up by pouring the majority in the center, which is gonna push out all of those colors in the center. And at this point, I am loving it. It was not intentional, but at this point, I'm, I'm thinking back to space, I'm thinking nebula, I'm thinking star systems. I just really felt like, yeah, this was another space themed um, resin piece. And I'm all right with that, even though the mold is crushed ice, I was okay with it turning out spacey. But yeah, here you see me going in with the heat gun just to help all of those colors blend together. And I am telling you, I was head over heels in love with this resin at this point. And I'm just about to give you a close up shot of what it looks like. Look at this, look at this. I honestly am in love and I just wish resin could stay where we put it because if it ended up like this, oh, I would have been happy. It has been 24 hours now and I have to say the back of this is absolutely stunning. I'm actually gonna take you in for a close up of the back and we shall look. So this is what the back looks like and honestly I have got absolutely no idea what it's going to look like when it's demolded but the clear in the center is definitely is come out okay I was worried I was worried that that black opaque and the gold opaque would take over but let's get it demolded So this is either going to be the most beautiful resin I've ever made or it's going to look like hangover regrets. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to expect. So I'm just going to demold and have a look. Wow. We're seeing it together for the first time. Oh, wow. Okay. That is a wow from me. Wow. So the edges where I put those crushed glass pieces, if you can see the light reflecting on them, they're not as visible as I was expecting them to be. And I think it's because some of the black did actually seep in, but, ah, oh. so you might remember a few videos back, I did like nebula, I did like neb nebula resin, like space resin. This to me, it actually also looks like space resin. You've got some transparency in the middle there, but the edges become more and more 
opaque oh it's just stunning it looks like a giant slab of crystal let me know your thoughts at this point and hopefully the camera is picking up those colors you've got the purple at the edges and the blue and some hints of gold you can just see the gold you can see a whole hunk of gold there oh absolutely i just love the detail in this crushed ice design it just makes it look like a crystal i think this would be absolutely beautiful on the wall as wall art not even i know it's a tray mold but to me this looks like wall art and actually it could be added to the center of a much bigger piece and you could build up the crystals around it and create this huge stunning geode just yeah i absolutely love it let me know what you think at this point do leave a comment down in the comment section down below and yeah i am in love i am in love it's hard not to be in love <laughs> there's only a few projects that <laughs> i definitely don't love but i loved it i love this one i absolutely love this one i think i might have done the edge differently in the future it's a lesson learned I loved the idea of this purple crushed glass, but it can't, I can't really see it. it. It doesn't, it doesn't stand out like I thought it would. And that's okay because overall it is simply stunning, absolutely stunning. But this is a clear example. You saw me as I poured the resin and I knew in my head, uh, this looks gorgeous this looks pretty but i've got no expectations because resin does what resin wants we all know that they're not gonna stay there the pattern isn't gonna stay like that and yeah so obviously the resin has all worked its way into the center which is another thing that resin does and yeah let me know if you prefer the back or the front look at this absolutely absolutely stunning so i'm gonna stop talking because i could bang on and on and on and um i've probably done that enough so if you are interested in this crushed ice mold from molds and shapes then i will leave a link to their website down below and of course you've got that five percent discount using my code ccc5 but thank you all so much if you've made it this far and yeah your support is just incredible and i can't stop touching it it's so tactile anyway okay enough <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Bye.